What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about something that you guys have been asking about for a while. Now, if you guys don't know, right, Global is getting maintenance tonight, uh, pretty sure, tonight. And with maintenance, um, we should be getting a new banner. Now, the question is, what is the new banner, right? That's what everybody wants to know, right? Let me go ahead and switch over to Global. If you go right here and go to draw, as you can see, Merlin is going to be gone on the 17th, which is tomorrow. So, we are getting a new banner. What is that banner? Well, almost everyone, even me included, think that we are getting Red Helbrum because we got Red Helbrum pretty... We actually got Red Helbrum with Red Merlin back on JP, uh, but, I mean, it didn't happen this time, so we're assuming uh, that we're getting him now. Not to mention, he was in the files already for a banner, so... Uh, I am going to show you guys exactly why, like, Red Helbrum is, like, how good he is, right? Because a lot of you guys don't know. A lot of you guys don't really understand why he is as good as he is, which um, I'm going to go ahead and talk talk about it and everything like that and then show you guys. So, uh, let me go ahead and pull up Red Helbrum right here, and let me go ahead and switch over to this right here. Give me a second. All right, so, right, boom. Okay, so if you guys don't know, right, this is Red Helbrum, which we're going to go over, and then we're going to um, talk about everything he can do. So, Red Helbrum, starting out, he's a red unit, right? Uh, his first attack does 120% attack, takes away one ult gauge, right? Then um, his second one does 300% attack, takes away one ult gauge, and then his level three does 450% attack, and it takes away three ult gauge, right? Really good. Going on to a second skill, 200% attack. Then at rank two, it's 200% attack and petrifies for one turn. At rank three, it's 250% attack and petrifies for two turns, right? So that, like already that makes him amazingly good, right? Then if you go on to his passive, this is what makes Halbrum become like way better, right? Increases base stats, attack HP defense by 5%, per surviving ally so he can get a total of 15 percent because he has three allies right now if it if, if that didn't get like if, if that wasn't enough let's look at king king's passive increases fairies basic stats by eight percent attack defense hp so not only is helbrum getting 15 percent from himself he is also getting eight percent from king which is amazing right now, the reason why this team is so busted is because there's such thing called ult rush. If you guys, if you guys have watched my PvP videos, I do it with King and Deanne. But this is the true ult rush team, right? It's gonna be King, who, if you max dupe him, his ult will be doing 720% damage, right? Because you're gonna have his fate. So 720% damage, max ult. Then with Helbrum, he's gonna be doing. 525% damage at max at max ult, right? On top of, right? I know you guys um I know you guys don't have this unit yet on global, but this unit should be coming as well. And this unit is going to be a staple on almost every single team. Gother, right? Gother can rank up cards, right? So since Gother can rank up cards, he can rank up King's level 1 and Helbrum's level 1 petrifies, making them have petrified. On top of his ult is AOE, and he take away he can take away ult from other people. So it, it's just an amazing, amazing, amazing team. So uh, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking this team into PvP, and I'm gonna be showing you guys. Now you have Merlin in the back because Merlin is going to give you um, one ult gauge at the start. On top of I take ult food, so I have two ult gauge. So basically, um, after my first turn, I can get ult automatically for like two people. It's, you guys are going to see. Y'all are going to see exactly what I'm talking about. If it loads. There it is. Okay. Alright, I'm going against Blue Lilia team. If you guys don't know, Blue Lilia is like the penetration team. And uh, he, he might.
Is he gonna... Okay, yeah. He's gonna attack. How much damage? Okay. That's fine. Um, this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to do this. I, I would do, get, go for Hellbrums, but um, I'm gonna go for Kings just so I can heal, and then I can Petrify. That way I have ult now. And see, look, so I have King ult, right? Next turn, I'm going to get Gother and Hellbrum ult. So it's like, it, it, you literally cannot stop it. You basically just have to one-shot turn one, or you, you basically lose. So yeah, now I have, ult, I have Hellbrum ult and Gother ult. And y'all are gonna see y'all gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. And that's if I don't one shot. That's if I don't one shot with um King. Because King does a lot of damage. My ult on King is four out of six. Um, so I definitely need to get more of it, like get it get it up. But let's go ahead and do this. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and petrify him so he doesn't kill any of my units. I could have got Gother ult, but I don't want to die to Meliodas, so I'm just going to, instead of getting Gother ult, I'm going to just Petrify, so I have Helbrum ult. And I don't die. Look, look at that damage. I one-shot Lilia. I almost one-shot Gother. I almost one-shot Meliodas. That was just King's ult. Keep in mind, I'm going to be hitting people with King, Helbrum, and Gother. Look, do Rage Quit. Do Rage Quit. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go ahead and get into another one. But, like, guys, I'm telling you, the, the team is disgusting. Because... Because you have two units that can petrify. Hellbrum can take away ults. You have three ults that are AoE. It's so good. If you guys don't know, King is my favorite unit or favorite character in the show. He's my favorite unit in the game. And if you guys don't know, I'm fairy gang all day. Okay? That's that's why I have this team maxed out. My Hellbrum is 6 out of 6 on his ult. He's maxed out. King is 4 out of 6 on his ult. Almost maxed. I literally need two dupes out of the shop once he comes back. I'm telling y'all, man. This was the first team I maxed out, bro. This is the first team I maxed out. I might lose this one because uh, <laughs> he has Escanor. And Escanor might one-shot my king. If Escanor one-shots king, I kind of I, I might just lose. Or he can go for Hellbrum. If, if he kills king or Hellbrum, I, I just lose, basically. Yeah, look. He, he, de he almost killed him already. Like, the Penetration team is probably the one of the only teams that can beat this strategy. Just because they one-shot. That's literally it. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and Petrify um, Escanor. I don't want to, but... Because Lilia probably can take away my ult. But it's just like, Escanor is going to one-shot me. If you guys don't know, Escanor is like... He's busted. Let's just say that. All right. I'm not gonna get too much into it. Let's just say Escanor is busted. Um, Lilia might take. If Lilia takes away my ult, I can get Gother ult and Helbrum ult. So that's fine. And I can still petrify Escanor because he didn't. Um, what's it called? Yeah, she takes. Okay. So okay, this is the thing, right? Helbrum probably dies next turn. Helbrum probably dies next turn. It's probably better for me to get Gother and King Ult. Because, because like I said, Halbrum probably dies next turn. And I mean, if he doesn't die, that's cool. But, like, it, it's just better for me to do this. Like I said, I might lose. Because this team, like, how this team works, like, is just disgusting. This is the best. By the way, I'm going against the best team on PvP. On JP right now. This is the best team. So, if I lose, that's why. If they don't, ha which on global, this team is not going to be out. So you automatically win. This is the team I'm using right now is going to be the best team on global for like the next six months. So look, yeah, like, like I said, I probably lose just because uh, like Escanor, he hits like super hard. It's going to be stupid, man. Um, we're going to do that. Do that. And then do that. Now, I mean, obviously, Helbrum is going to die here. I probably should have just... Yeah. I, I think I actually lose this. But like I said, that's that's like the, the best... 
this is the best team on PvP right now. But um Enough enough about that, right? The thing is, right, with Helbram and Gother and King, um there's nothing like there's nothing that's gonna be able to stop it for a good while. Right? Because they they um they drop units to try to counter it. Yeah, he just kills him. All right. Yeah, I definitely just lose. All right, we'll get into one more. We'll get into one more match. But um, yeah, they, they drop stuff that can counter it, right? But like, they don't. They're not gonna drop anything that it doesn't even counter it. But they're not gonna drop anything that like can stop this team for the next like three or four months. And then even when it drops. This team still does really well. Like, it, it, <laughs> this is my favorite team, by the way, if you guys don't know. This is my favorite team. This is the team I've used on my account, like, forever. I pulled um, Elaine. I have a lane 6-6 six, six as well, because I ran, like, full fairies. I had I have the lane 6-6. Six, six. I also have, um, I also have, what's it called? Gloxinia. Okay, so this guy has Derriere, right? What I'm going to do... Uh, I'm gonna get Helbrum ult and Gother ult. Helbrum ult, Gother ult, and then I'm going to um, petrify Derriere. We don't want her one shotting me. So yeah. Okay, Gother, we get it. All right, so I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do that. Um. Like I said, we're going to petrify her, and then we're going to do this just to get Gother ult. So now I have Helbrum and Gother ult. And this, this is how this team is. It works. It's so, so good. He has no one that can take away my ults either. And I have a level 3 Helbrum card. Y'all about to see the damage. Y'all about to see the damage I'm talking about. Unless Escanor randomly one-shots both of my units somehow which he shouldn't because he has type disadvantage I should be fine wait and he uses ignite after his attack okay this Escanor is trolling yeah he could have did that first and then I don't know look I don't make the rules um watch like look okay so if we look at Helbrum right passive activated as you can see from his stats what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this this and then level three Helbrum card. Y'all y'all about to see some y'all about to see some damage. So level look AOE Gother, AOE Helbrum. He dies. Helbrum level three. Boom. He dies. <laughs> I literally just one shot his team, and then it's like, yeah, Merlin's here. Doesn't matter because I'm getting I'm getting King's ult next turn, and then it's like, yeah, Merlin can stop my ult, right? Merlin can stop ult, but that doesn't matter because I'm gonna petrify. Well, Gotha just died, so my petrify is gone, but I can get another one. Okay, I don't. I mean, it's fine because watch this, right? This, this is this is the beauty of this team, right? We'll do that, and then do that. It's it's literally you just you get ults over and over and over because like everyone has high ult gauge, so it's nonstop ults. Merlin's gonna stop my ult, but if she stops my ult, or well, if she stops King's ult, Helbrum get hit gets his ult. So I mean, you kind of just lose. Choice is yours. Okay, she tried to one shot. That was not smart. Yeah, that wasn't smart, dude. I just kill you now. Your best bet would have been to try to, like, take away old Gage from Helbrum and King. I mean, you already lose, but whatever. But, yeah. This team, man. I love this team so much. This is probably going to be the team coming to Global. Or the unit, Helbrum. Um, also, if you guys want to play Gr Grand Cross on your PC, 60 frames, no lag, check out the uh, link in the description. Uh, you can download blue stacks on your PC. You can get Grand Cross. You can play completely free, no lag. Uh, you guys saw my gameplay. I don't lag or anything like that. But yeah, this is the team 
coming to global. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, well, Darkskin, we don't have Gother or Merlin. You don't even need them. You don't even need those units. Um, if you saw my team on global where I have King and uh, Deanne, I don't have Gother or Merlin. I still run the team. You can run, literally, all you need is King and Helbrum. And King is free, and all you got to do is get Helbrum. And then Gustav is King's, uh, Gustav is Helbrum's um, ult partner. So it's like, he's a SR. So you can max him out easy. Like, it, if you look, right? If you look right here, right? I'll, I'll show you guys. Right here. Th this is the team. Which, like I said, I have I have Helbrum, 6'6", six, six, max ult. Then, if you go look at uh, Gustav, I have Gustav maxed out six stars, 60, max ult. <laughs> like, this team is so easy to create, and it's amazing. So, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below, tell me what you guys in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.